Okay, in today's tutorial we're going to cover the SCQF Level 3 monotones. In these ones we cover both simple time and compound time signatures. Simple time, the beat note is divisible by 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. One, two. In compound, the beat note is divisible by 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so please be aware of that as we work through these uh, exercises. Line 1 is a 2-4. The top number tells us the number of beats or beat notes per bar, and the bottom number tells us the relation of the beat note to the semi brief So we're working in quarter notes, two quarter notes per bar. Remember, this is a simple time signature. So we have to, in our heads, think 1, 2, 1, 2. So we've looked at the time signature, then we're going to start tapping our foot with that in our minds, 1, Two, one, two. Okay. Bar one is two quavers, two quavers. Bar two is a dotted quaver followed by a semi quaver followed by a crotchet. Long, short, long. Bar three is two quavers followed by a dotted quaver and then a semi quaver. Even, even, long, short, and then bar four, you've got that crotchet rest which we covered in level two monotones and then the crotchet itself. So the whole line after two. One, two. Even, 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 long, short, long. Even, even, long, short, rest, long. This time without any speech. One, two. Okay. Line two. The time signature has changed to 3-4. The top number tells us the number of beats per bar. So we've now got 3 beats per bar. The bottom number tells us the relation of the beat note to the semi-brief. So we're working again in quarter notes. We're still working in simple time. 2-4, 3-4 and 4-4 are our obvious uh, simple time signatures. Okay. So, bar 1, we have a dotted uh, quaver, semi quaver, beat two, we've got the crotchet, and then bar th uh, beat three, sorry, we have two quavers. So long, short, long, even, even. Bar two, we have a crotchet, two quavers, a dotted quaver, and a semi quaver. Long, even, even, long, short. Bar three, we have that crotchet, then we have a crotchet rest, then we have that dotted quaver, followed by semi quaver. Long, short. And then bar four, we have a simple crotchet, two quavers, and then a crotchet on the beat. Okay, so after three, two, three, long, short, long, even, even, long, even, even, long, short, long, rest, long, short, long, even, even, long, this time without any speech, two, three, Okay, line three, the time signature is six, eight. Okay, so we know that six, eight, nine, eight, and twelve, eight are our obvious compound time signatures. Okay, when it's a compound time signature, you divide the top number by three. So six divided by three gives us two. So we have two distinct beats per bar. Okay, we're now working in that uh, beat note being divisible by three. Okay, so in the first beat, we have one, two, three. In the second beat, we have one, two, three. All right, so six, eight. We have six uh, quavers per bar, or the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we all of a sudden, as soon as we see that compound time signature, need to get our head adjusted to moving from the beat note being divisible by two to the beat note being divisible by three. One, two, three, two, two, three. Okay, and we know that there's two beats in a 6-8. So bar 1 has 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. We have two dotted crotchets. In bar 2, we have three qu uh, quavers followed by a dotted crotchet. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. In bar 3, we have uh, that six quavers. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in bar 4, we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 
we have two dotted crosses. Okay, so quite a simple uh, compound monotone. So, after two, one, two. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, this time without any speech. One, two. Okay, into line four, we have bar one, a dot, uh, sorry, a, a crotchet followed by a quaver, and then a, a crotchet followed by a quaver. So we have the two pulses fill up the crotchet, and then the third pulse is on the quaver. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, bar two, we have one, two, three, one, two, three. We've covered that before. In bar three, we have a, a crotchet followed by a quaver rest. Okay, so that's like a wee seven on its side. This uh, this bar looks trickier than it is. We simply tap on the crotchet and then we come back in for the three quavers. Okay, bar four is a crotchet, quaver, dotted crotchet. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so that rhythm there with the crotchet followed by the quaver is one, two, three, one, two, three. Two pulses on the crotchet and one on the quaver. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is something that you probably will have to work on. And it's something that's important for understanding your jig playing for sure. We want to kind of roll over onto the, the, the quaver. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So, line four. After two. One, two. One, two, three. This time without any speech. One, two. Okay, line five is a nine eight. Nine divided by three gives us three. So we have three beats per bar. Bar one. Dotty crotchet, three quavers, dotty crotchet, bar two, cro dotty crotchet, dotty crotchet, three quavers, bar three, three quavers, dotty crotchet, dotty crotchet, bar four, dotty crotchet, three quavers, dotty crotchet. So quite a straightforward 9-8 compound uh, monotone exercise. Um, let's go straight into this then. After three, two, three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, this time without any speech. Two, three. Okay, and this leads us into the last one, line number six. Again, it's nine eight, three beats per bar. So uh, bar one is nice and straightforward. We have nine quavers. In bar two, we have a dotted crotchet followed by a crotchet, quaver rest, crotchet followed by the quaver. Okay, so that bar goes. Okay, bar three, we have a crotchet, quaver, three quavers, dotted crotchet. So we have long. Short one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and then bar four is a dotted crotchet, followed by a crotchet quaver, and then three quavers. Okay, so that's long, long, short one, two, three. Okay, I'll play it after three with some speech. Two, three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, Okay, and again, you'll develop your own. Um, you might want to use strawberry, strawberry, or whatever you want to do to try and get it into your head. But obviously, you're not going to be using any speech as you do it in the exam like this. Two, three. Okay, I hope that was of some help to you. Well done.